hello guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials so far we have covered everything about the aws uh, every aws component that we have in our talent studio that will connect you from talent studio to aws as well as aws s3 buckets to your talent studio but in this video i am gonna explain you one special use case that i have been receiving through a lot of comments so a lot of people ask me about how we can do it uh, like how we can do zip pay file uh, that we have as a normal file in our S3 bucket they have asked a lot of people ask that question so the one thing that I just want to clarify you is we can't do a zip uh, we can't archive a file that we have in S3 bucket unless uh, you can't archive a file from S3 one, one S3 bucket to another S3 bucket or some, uh, whatever it may be you can't do that in AWS S3 buckets the one thing that you can do is you can take that particular file into your local system and you can do the archive and then you can again put back that particular archive file into your AWS S3 bucket. That's exactly what I'm going to do in this particular video. So I can name this one as a use case video. So I'm creating a new job with the use case underscore demo. So as we all know that the first one obviously we are going to do is the S3 connection let's create that so here the secret key here it is and access key that's it save it so the connection was done so now what I'm gonna do is here let me explain you the scenario here inside the snowflake learning bucket inside the json folder i have a file known as employee.csv so that i am gonna i want to retrieve that particular file into my local system and want to do want to archive or want to zip it and then again i just want to place it back to s3 bucket wherever it is present so i just want to put it back into the json folder the zip file so for that what i am going to do is the first thing I am taking s3 get ts3 get component so here I am using existing connection and the bucket name here I am using is snowflake learning bucket and the key obviously it is json folder and inside that employee.csv file so if you wanna if you want to get the better understanding about the s3 get component you just go, uh, need to go to the my previous lectures about the s3 component and here I am connecting these two components with on sub job ok and in this S3 get so here it is asking whether where you want to store this particular file so here I am want to store this particular file in desktop folder inside the employee here the file that I wanna name it as employee ok it's saying the file was not there actually I can just create a sample file if you want or else yeah let me create one let me create a new document here now I'm going to talent studio and selecting this okay oh shit it coming as text document anyway I'm saving it as CVS and I'm saving this now let me run this job so now the now file should come here uh, inside that particular folder in my local let's see whether it is there or not so it got disconnected so if you observe here this is the one that I created but I del am deleting this so here uh, the employee file got created here so if you want to open this uh, I just I am just uh, double clicking this so if you open this uh, these are the data that we have the three rows so so what I am doing is we have the file now the next thing that I am gonna do is I am 
creating or I am archiving that particular file. T file archive. Uh, I am connecting these two components with on sub job. Okay. So here it is asking for the directory where you want to create a uh, like with the input directory what it is asking for so here it is the directory and the archive path also it is asking for archive file path so I will be redirecting to this with name as emp.zip Anyway, I will just create the folder here or else give me a second. Here I will copy this. I'm just uh, trying to create a new path here. Inside the employee, I want to queue it as employee.zip file. So the so what uh, this mean is I wanna take I wanna read the employee.csv file here from this particular directory and want to store that in the emp.zip file. So I'm just saving this. If you run this job, it is gonna create an archive di archive directory here. Once the talent job gets successful. So if you see this, it is done. So if you open this, we got the zip file here. So now the, the simple thing is you just need to copy this zip file and put it over there back in the S3 path. So that's what uh, you need to do. So for that, uh, in order to put it from Talent Studio to S3, I am using TS3 put component. And I am using the existing connection here. And the bucket that I want to place it here is Snowflake learning bucket and the key is json slash employee slash emp so i am i am making that and here you need to select whatever the file that you want to place it over there so for that uh, i am selecting this employee.zip clicking ok so that's it here i am selecting Sorry, I am clicking this as on sub job. Sorry, I am connecting with the on sub job. Okay, and now I want to delete whatever that we have previously, or else I can do that here as well. TS3 delete. I am using an existing connection, and here no like learning bucket. So basically what my intention was to is so once this particular file gets downloaded using ts3 get i want to delete this and want to replace that with zip file so for that uh, instead of connecting to this i can connect this to ts3 delete and from ts3 delete i am gonna connect this to t file archive and after t put I am just closing this connection TS3 close. So this is what uh, the flow will be like. And I have configured this S3 put but I haven't configured okay. Yeah, I have configured the I haven't configured the S3 bucket here. So inside the snowflake uh, learning bucket, what I wanna delete is JSON slash employee.csv I don't want it so I, I just want to delete that so I'm saving this so if I run this so what is gonna happen is here it is gonna pick up the employee.csv and then in the delete it is gonna delete that from the s3 bucket and it is gonna do a archive in your local and again it will put that particular zip file in back into your uh, snowflake learning bucket uh, s3 bucket so that is basically how we will make one file to a zip 
on file you can make that into a zip file and then you can place it in the same folder so that's the how you will normally do but there is unfortunately there is no option to do that through talent in in s3 buckets i'm just running this let's see whether it works or not we are getting the one warning because of uh, ts3 put i guess so you can just ignore that and if you observe this and i'm reloading i am refreshing so our intention was to the employee.csv should not be there yeah it is not there and instead of that it got replaced with employee and inside that we have employee zip folder here so once you download that it will download that as yeah it has a zip file and you can just work on that so that is how you can save that files so that is all for this video guys thank you for watching